You might be feasting and getting merry. Well, let's sit tight tonight and listen to my guest on the conversation we'll be having on the way forward for Nigeria, especially the security situation. I'm being joined on the program tonight by Senator Ali Ndume, Chairman of Senate Committee on the Army, a chieftain of the APC. Thank you so much, Senator, for coming tonight. And also we have Senator Mao Oabua, a former lawmaker and a PDP chieftain. Thank you so much, uh, Senator. It's good to see you again. Let's begin the conversation, perhaps, with Senator Ali Ndume. Um, let me get your view on the stance of um, the southern governors, especially on the issue of uh, open grazing and uh, taking cattle by foot across the region. What are your views on the recommendations and the stance of the southern governors? Well, my view uh, is already expressed that um, the governors, being the chief security officers of the various states in the south, should not take these things lightly or should not politicize it or even try to look as if they are just grandstanding. Uh, the president, uh, they have un unfiltered access to Mr. President, who is the commander in chief, and they themselves being the various chief, uh, chief security officers of their states, they have what they call the national uh, economic, uh, is, is it national state council or state council or like that, that all the governors meet with Mr. President or sometimes with the vice president. We have serious security challenges in this country that are different in all the geopolitical zones, if you look at it. And I was expecting that the governors who close themselves in what, where they did and then address these issues, come up with the three solutions that they, 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 they mentioned, and then come and discuss with the president in a close session, as we call it in the Senate, not to come out and then talk to the media and then issue a blanket statement, for example. I'm not concerned about what they said, but like the open grazing system, which they say they will ban it in all the South and that people cannot move, not addressing how they will uh, uh, accommodate or look at the constitutional issues that will come as to freedom of movement, which every individual is concerned with, and how practical is that uh, decision to be uh, implement. I was thinking that they will come out with the immediate uh, solution, mid-term solution, and the long-term solution to open uh, grazing system. Definitely, the open gra grazing system is a problem. Or with time now, the, the, the time has changed that we need to change the grazing or the livestock management uh, system of the Fulanis or the headsmen. But not by saying one, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we bar uh, 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 open grazing in the south. Two, we call on the president to uh, uh, convene a uh, national dialogue. Three, uh, to uh, you know, allow uh, for state police. All these things are things that you know are not going to be implemented by making statements to the media or over. That is, what, that is, that is my concern. When leadership is playing to the gallery in a very challenging situation like this, I get so concerned. And this is what is it? Is it a uh, okay? Okay, so let, let, let's get uh, some clarity from you. Is it a matter of playing to the gallery? This about 17 state governors in the southern region, just like their colleagues, uh, counterparts in the north, the northern governors also meet. These southern governors have met and they said this is what they see as a problem. You were reported, Senator, to have said that the governors are deviating from the matter. You said the problem is not about open grazing. So but, but the governors unanimously said that is a problem in their region, and they came out to state what needs to be done. Do you have perhaps some other information or intelligence to counter the stance of the southern governors? First of all, the security, it is not a matter of, I still stand by my position, that the problem is not open grazing. The problem is what we are faced with in this country is the issue of security. There is insecurity everywhere. And the insecurity, the security challenges we face in this country are not uniform. What we face in the Northeast is different from what they face in the Southeast. There is no Boko Haram in the Southeast. And Boko Haram are killing us every time in the Northeast. In the Southeast, they have challenges with the IPOP and the you know, EESN. In the Southwest, they have different challenges. 
In the North Central, they have different challenges. In the in the in the Northwest, where banditry is, uh, you know, they have problem of banditry, cattle rustling. In the in the Northwest, it's not the same with uh, what we are facing. But we know that we have serious challenges besides uh, armed robbery everywhere, which is known to us, and then kidnapping, which is everywhere. We know that we have serious sec uh, security challenges in this country that needs to be addressed urgently. Otherwise, the situation is getting worse and worse. In the Southeast, police stations are being attacked indiscriminately. Uh, people, uh, you know, the uh, uh, cattle wrestlers are attacking. Um, uh, 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 but, but, Senator, are, uh, the governors of the Southern region said this is the problem and they are suggesting solution. But it does look like you have a problem with what they have proposed as a solution or the way out. No, I, ha I don't have prob problem with the solution that they propose, but that is not it. What I'm saying is they should be practical, realistic, and honest. And that is lacking in that statement that they just made this blanket statement, um, not meeting the president. You just don't say you ban movement of this. It's not just realistic. Let's talk realistically. What right. are they doing as the security officer of each, each, each of their states? What, right. they, what do they do with the president? What, uh, what, what realistic measures? They started, for example, in the Southwest, which was good, and I support it, that they should have a local, uh, uh, local security network uh, called a, a a Motokun, or what do you call it? So, such, such organizations will complement the police that we have, and they are supposed to synergize and work together. While the Motokun is under the control of the various governors from the Southwest, and they uniformly started it, they abandoned that project now, and they are talking about another thing. So, Senator, let me get uh, Senator Ahabua into the conversation. Senator Ahabua, if you can give us a sense of what you make of the Southern Governor's uh, stance, and uh, you heard your friend, Senator Ali Ndume, and his uh, uh, view uh, relating to what the Southern Governors have said. Well, first and foremost, Shun, let me thank you for this opportunity and to use this same opportunity to congratulate our Muslim brothers on this occasion of Eid Fitri, and uh, thank God for guiding them through the uh, fasting period. And as if we know, this period needs prayers more than any other time. And um, I also want to use the opportunity to congratulate the Southern governors for rising to the occasion, for realizing that it is important that they speak and defend their mandate. Because leadership is a trust. This, and this trust is upon them by their people. At a point, we were worried if they were, we had governors because our brothers, the Northern governors, were always meeting, uh, dishing out communiques, but we're not hearing from our Southern governors. And this time, they've written, risen to, to the occasion, irrespective of political affiliation, and hitting the nail on the head. And I think all we needed to do, all of us today, is to congratulate them and thank them for rising up to the occasion to defend their position as leaders. You see, um, the issue of insecurity in this country is, is not something anybody needs to play with. We know the level of insecurity in this country has become so alarming, it becomes so worrisome that we cannot even sleep, not with our two eyes, even with one eye closed. And it's important that we look at these peculiarities from our different states and our different zones. Like my friend and my brother Ali has said, Northeast had the problem of uh, Boko Haram or the North per se. But here in the South, we don't have that problem of uh, 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 Boko Haram. The major problem that had been there all the time had been this uh, Hess um, um, men and um, farmers clash. It's been there for a while. And we've been looking at which way forward. And this is the right time and the right way to go. So I'm saying that the governors have come out as the representative of the people, knowing that some other people had infiltrated the local indigenous cattle rearers, the local herdsmen. We have seen people infiltrate before now. We've lived with these people for many years. I lived most of my life in Yola. We've never seen the herdsmen carrying AK-47, but today people are carrying AK-47, raping women, destroying farmlands, and creating problems. Some are now into banditry, some are now into kidnapping, and we can't continue this way. The governors cannot fold their hands and keep quiet. 
It's a big challenge, it's an issue. And I think we should commend them for rising up to the occasion to take this resolution. First and foremost, what I think, maybe if that's what Alice are alluding to, maybe they should walk their talk, that now they have come up with a policy, then they should come up with a legal framework, send right. a, resolu uh, send a bill to the state assemblies to ensure that what they have said stands. They are not disturbing people. They are not saying there should be no movement of people as enshrined the constitution, but this uh, open grazing should stop. And even if you Senator Abu, from the other apologies to uh, apologies yes. to cut in. Yeah, let, let's take a break. But when we come back, I'm going to come back to you and specifically uh, some of the issues Senator Ali Ndume has raised. Perhaps you might help us to give a sense of uh, direction into the conversation after the break on uh, some of the questions I'm going to ask. Don't go anywhere, everyone will be right back. Plus conversations and reactions to what President Buhari said today after the Eat Press. Join us again. Thank you so much, everyone, and welcome back to the conversation. I've been speaking with Senator Ali Indume, Chairman of the Senate Committee on the Army and a Chieftain of the APC, and also Senator Mao Oabua, a former lawmaker and a PDP Chieftain. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time tonight. Let me get back to our Buja studio with Senator Habua. Um, perhaps some of the things that Senator Ali Indume is saying, he, he does not agree with uh, the perhaps the ap approach is what Senator Alindume is not uh, has not agree with. I'd like you to react to that. Well, I don't, I don't, don't, Ali, like you said, is my very good friend. And what I heard him say or what I hear him talk about is talking about open grazing, banning of open grazing. And as far as I'm concerned, after every meeting, there will have been, there will be opportunity for uh, um, the convenance of the meeting to let the world, the public, know what decisions or the community, what they had reached. And as far as I'm concerned, the, after the meeting, the governors came out to read out the resolutions or decisions taken. And one of those decisions is that there will be banning of open uh, grazing. And which, to my mind, is the right thing to go. Because this fight, this struggle had been on for a while between the headers and the farmers. And that had created so much insecurity, so much security problem in the South, particularly. And I think this is the hard time to nip, um, uh, nip, uh, nip, uh, nip it in the board. And the only way to go is to ban it. All I'm saying is that maybe what Ali is saying is that not just me are saying it, but there should be a legal framework. And the way to do it is that after this decision, maybe each state of the South should take this, uh, send a, 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 um, uh, an executive bill to their respective state houses of assembly so that they can give a legal tea to this, so that it will stand. And I, think, I don't even think Ali will speak against it because economically today, that the best way to go is to go, like we said, taking cows from Sokoto to Port Harcourt or Port Harcourt to Kaurana Mada, Kaurana Mada to Ogun State, uh, to uh, Obomosho, it's no more the, the, the right thing to do. In this modern time, we should look at it from the business perspective, where we should harness this beef, harness the milk from the cows, and export it, sell it. But if you leave it this way, a, a, a development had taken over the whatever uh, the lands. There are no, no land available. No, no, what I'm, what I'm, where I'm going is that Ali is talking about open grazing. Open grazing should stop. It's the right time to stop open grazing because it's not doing out of, of any good in this country today. And because of the short and limitness of uh, land space, you can see there's always been this struggle, this fight between the headers and the farmers. And the only way to stop it is to ask that we stop open grazing and make a law to stop it. And look at the way we had talked about, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, um, ranching. I'm trying to talk about ranching. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Ranching. So that, that that is the modern way to go. So that you can harness the, this um, uh, cattle. Otherwise, talking about open grazing, I think is, the, is an old way. You can't be doing things the same way. I want to tell somebody, I asked somebody, prior to this time, the way we are doing things today was not the way we are doing it before. There is technology, there are modern ways of doing things, and we cannot continue asking people to move from right. Sokoto to Port yeah. Harcourt, so, Port Harcourt to that. I think Ali, I want Ali to understand that there couldn't have been a better way 
to say that, to do it than this way. He is talking about saying it. After, even in the National Assembly, after executive session, there must be a, uh, the, pre, the, the, the chairman of the inform, if, uh, public uh, affairs must brief the public, must brief the press on decisions taken. I think that's what they have done. And for okay. me, I'm going further to encourage them that they should legalize it so that it will be coming to effect legally. Let me, let me bring back Senator Ali Indume into the conversation. So uh, uh, perhaps uh, you heard what Senator Habuwa said. Uh, the northern governors meet, and uh, when they meet, in fact, they meet more frequently than their southern co counterpart. And even the northern, uh, the, 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 the Nigerian Governors Forum, the larger uh, 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 forum of the governors, they meet, and they've decided on some of these points that the southern governors have come out uh, from. So perhaps uh, there's something that uh, Senator Alin Dume needs to tell Nigerians uh, that a, an average person does not understand in the security situation that uh, came out to you after that Southern Governors Forum meeting? Well, uh, let me first of all say that I am not against the issues that the, the three issues basically that the governors discussed. But I still maintain that these are leaders in this country. They should know the better way of managing such situation. Uh, before I go on, I want to uh, share, make you understand and the viewers understand that I, Mohammed Ali Ndume, is not a Hausa man. I'm not a Fulani man. I'm not a Yoruba man. I'm not Igbo. So I'm a Nigerian from the minority, in fact, small minority. So I'm in a better position to speak the truth. What I'm saying is we have security problem in this country, which includes and can be attributed also to the, some Fulani that have turned out to be criminals. But that does not mean that all the headsmen out there should be condemned. Secondly, Fulani doesn't have land. They move from one place to the other and normally in the forest. They move backward because they feed their animals. And in the process of that, some have clashes with farmers because their animals stray into uh, the, 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 the farms. And of course, that will cause problems. Then, of course, there are criminals that are breeding among them. I agree that open grazing system is an archaic way of, it's not the way to go. But also, saying that you have banned it just like that is also not the way to go. If you say, okay, you have banned their movement, or you have, then what is the implication? How do you implement that? What I was expecting from the governors is that they make a statement that they have considered those three issues, open grazing, which is one, and then uh, thinking that they are, they are urging that there should be national dialogue. I disagree with that because they know, 17 of them know, that the constitutional right to amend that constitution, which all of them swore to protect and defend, can only be done by the National Assembly. Unfortunately, all the members of the National Assembly, or most of us, are in, in the, on the same page with the governor uh, with the governors. So, and now the uh, public hearing of the constitutional review is coming up, which does not limit what you can do, what you can amend in that constitution. I was thinking that they are going to take a position, and that will help us in ensuring that the constitutional. So, so Senator, is, invariably, are you saying that what the governors of the South has, has said is political and is not practical? Uh, is not practical? Is that what you're saying, in essence? No, I'm not saying it's not practical. It's practical. You can do it. You can ban open grazing, but not just by announcement. What about the you national arrange, dialogue? You think that the, the, the national the, dialogue is a waste of time as far as I'm concerned because they have done it before. What of the reports of the national conference? Even Jonathan, under pressure, because some of these self acclaimed leaders or opinion molders will say they are representative of the people. If you say you are going to do national dialogue, right. who is going to call for the national dialogue? Okay, what so, are the national assembly? All right. Senator Abua, we are elected your, your, to represent the people. Okay. So, Senator Abua, your reaction uh, for, yes. to, to some of the submission of Senator Aline Dume? Yeah. First and foremost, let me clear the fact that as far as we are concerned, and as I know, and arising from the resolution of the governor's, uh, Southern Governors Forum, all the resolutions, all decisions taken are not just binding on the spot. Some are policies that will come up immediately. Some will go to either the state assemblies to give it a legal backing. Some will come to the national uh, assembly 
either for constitutional amendment or for passing of uh, uh, a bill, then others will maybe go to the senior president, to the president of the country for his direct uh, implementation. See, the states are semi-autonomous, and they have to take certain decisions that will be binding on their people. First, we've talked about uh, open grazing. There is no gain saying the fact that it has created a problem, it is an issue, it's part of the major security issues we are talking about in this country today. You talk about convocation of a national dialogue. You, they, everybody had been talking, people have been speaking, but it seems that nobody's listening. And the only way to bring people, all the uh, national uh, um, ethnic groups together is for us to, is to bring us together on a round table so that we can speak and take a decision and resolutions taken, those ones that will be implemented on the spot as a policy will be done. All so right. we'll also go back to the National uh, yeah. Assembly for the, uh, to uh, put it into, to make it a S law. So saying that, it, you wouldn't have said that, I don't think it's the right thing because after every resolution, after every meeting, you must address the press and what right. they have done is to tell the world these are decisions we have taken and they will go back to the drawing board, like I said, segment these uh, uh, decisions and let them begin to okay. uh, go to different areas, either to uh, get the le uh, legal advisor or the Abba. National Assembly or yeah. the State Assembly or for All implementation. Right. Yes. Okay. We are, we are obviously out of time, but I must sincerely thank uh, both of you, very experienced uh, uh, lawmakers, Senator Ali Ndume, Chair of uh, the Army Committee and the Senate, and the Chieftain of the APC. It's always a pleasure getting to your views on some of these national issues. And Senator Mao Ahabua, a former lawmaker who represented Abia State in the Senate. Thank you so much, Senator, for coming tonight.